Well, howdy, friends, and welcome back into the kitchen. Told y'all I was going to be here all day, and I am. Uh, I'm going to make a dish that I love orange chicken from Panda Express, and so I've been going to try to make some at home on my own. So today I'm going to make orange ginger chicken. So what I've done, I've already done a lot of the prep work. I'm just going to tell you what I did and give you the recipe. I've cut uh, one and a half big, it looks like they came off of a turkey, chicken breast into chunks. And I've seasoned it with salt and black pepper, onion and garlic powder. And then I'm just going to put, um, I put some flour on it. And I'm going to fry it and brown it really good all over. And then I'm going to put it in my pan and pour my sauce over it. And I'll tell you all what's in that in just a minute. But let me show you what I'm doing. And we'll get it browned off and then we'll go for it. Okay, there. you can see I've just chunked my chicken and I've seasoned it. And now I'm just, uh, I, need to, I need to season the other side actually. I've seasoned one side. But I'm just flouring it. I'm not using cornstarch on it. Let me, um, let me get this other side seasoned up. Clean hands, chicken off. Put me some salt on it. Not too much because the sauce has soy in it and you know how salty soy is. So, not a lot, just a little bit. I'll put a little more black pepper. Don't you just love my pepper grinder from Sir La Tab? I tell y'all that all the time, but I get a lot of, of, of inquiries about it. So, just so you know, you can order it online if you don't have a store close to you. I'm just sprinkling some garlic powder on. Well, on and off. Some of it's going on the butcher block here. Onion powder. I'm a little more generous with it. Okay, I'm just going to get all of this floured up good. Oh, see, I've got my wax paper again. Sure does make cleanup easier. And I'm just tossing it to get it all coated. I've got some avocado oil in the skillet. I'm going to heat it up. And I'm going to brown this off. And then um, I'm going to put it in the pan and put the sauce over it. And I'll tell y'all what's in the sauce in just a minute. And then it has to bake for about an hour at 350. The other option would be to cook your chicken until it's completely done and then just uh, put the sauce on it. But I'm going to bake it where the flavors will infuse a little bit more. And we will uh, see what it tastes like here in a minute. I've got my chicken pieces uh, browning off in the skillet. There's the others that I'll do in a minute. And I'll get this done, and then I'll bring y'all back, and we'll talk about the sauce. Okay, I have my chicken browned, and I have my sauce prepared, and this is what goes in the sauce. I'm going to take a picture of this later. But it is 12 ounces of orange marmalade, 12 ounces of barbecue sauce, and I use Sweet Baby Ray's. Two tablespoons of soy a fourth of a teaspoon of orange extract, a tablespoon of grated ginger, one clove of garlic minced, a teaspoon of lemon pepper, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, and a tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm just going to pour this over the chicken, cover it with foil, and I'm going to set my timer since I've already browned it off really well. I'll set the timer for about 30 minutes and I'll check the temperature of the chicken and the tenderness. I want it very tender. I'm going to put it over a bed of rice and I may add some broccoli at the end and let it cook with it. But right now I'm just going to, and I heated this. Oh, and I added about a tablespoon of uh, chicken bouillon just to up the chicken flavor some. I'm just going to put this over the chicken and let it cook and thicken and I'm sure it will as it cooks and it'll be more flavorful with all of the chicken uh, juices in it. So get my chicken all down in there. Get in there. 
when I bring it out, I'm going to put some chopped green onions on it. And um, I'll probably stop it at about 25 minutes or so and add some broccoli and just let it steam in there until this gets finished and I'll serve it over white rice. to a 350 degree oven. And we'll be back in a little okay, bit. Okay, here's the orange ginger chicken out of the oven. In the last 20 minutes I added some frozen broccoli and let it uh, get tender in there. The juice got thick, the sauce. It's wonderful. I'm fixing to plate some up over some rice and show y'all what it looks like. Okay, here's y'all a big bowl of yumminess. That stuff is heavenly. And it was easy to make. Good grief, it was easy. Okay, here we are with another delicious chicken recipe. This ginger orange chicken is fabulous. The sauce on it reminds me a little bit of teriyaki, which it has the flavors of the teriyaki in it. The chicken is fork tender. The broccoli, I added the last 15 to 20 minutes frozen broccoli flowerets, and they uh, are just as soft and good as they can be. I cooked the rice with better than bouillon in the water and a little garlic and onion powder and no salt because of the bouillon, and I added a package of onion soup mix. That makes wonderful rice to go with anything savory. In case y'all haven't done that, try it sometime. I'm going to get me a bite of this and see if I can make y'all want to make some because it tastes so good, but it's hotter than blazes. It just came out of the oven, so let's see what we're going to do here. I'll blow it a little bit first. That's because I'm the baby in this house. I'm the youngest. Troy's a year older than me, so I have to blow it for the baby. Y'all, it's like I just sat down at a nice Chinese restaurant and had me some orange chicken. That is scrumbumptious. Y'all need to try it. I think this is going to be a keeper for y'all. If you've never done anything like this, try it. It'll be something different, and you'll just be shocked at how easy it is. to. I mean, anything that you prep up, put in the oven, and cook an hour is easy, easy, easy. So, you know, give it a try. Let me know what you think about it. Fix it for your family. Um, fix the sides that you want. If y'all don't like broccoli, then don't put broccoli in it. Cook something else that you would enjoy. But we like broccoli, so I thought that would be good. Sugar snap peas would be good, too, but I didn't have any. Y'all come back tomorrow. Let's visit again. Let's talk about a different recipe. Let's help you get something else new to put on your table or something old that you've forgotten about, and I'm prompting your memory. Spend some time with your family. Reconnect with old friends. You know, the older I get, the better it is to reconnect with a few people because one of us might not be here pretty soon. You never know. We don't have a promise of a hundred years. When my grandma was my age, whew, I thought she was ancient. But now that I'm this age, it ain't quite as old as it used to be. Y'all have a blessed day. Come back tomorrow and we'll have some more fun and some more food. The Lord bless you.